Hello, welcome to another Learn Learn Python tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about the Python random module. So, sometimes in our Python programs, we want to generate random numbers, or we want to pick random items from a list, or shuffle a deck of cards, or things like that. In order to do this, we need to use the random module. So, how do we do that? Well, first of all, we import random, and that, that goes and gets the code for the random module. Uh, and the first thing I'm going to show you is how we can do random numbers or random whole numbers. So let's say we want to pick a number and save it as num1. We do num1 equals random dot brandint and then the starting number and then the finish number. So for instance, let's say we're imitating a six sided die. Then you just do random dot randint and then the start number and the finish number. And now if you type num1, there you go. It's picked a random number. And if we run the random code again, it will pick a random number. So that's nice and simple, picking a random number. But what about picking random items from a list? Well, let's find out. Let's say we've got a list of animals. And we've got dog, cat, mouse, there we go, and hamster. So there we are, we've got a list of um, animals there, and we want to pick a random animal. So how do we do that? Well, all we got to do here is we just do choice equals, and then random dot choice, and then inside of the brackets, you put the list, the name of the list that you want to get the choice from. So we want to get a random animal from the animals list. And now choice is dog, uh, which is good. So you can use this if you want to pick a different animal each time. Uh, it's worth noting though that if you go back to the list here, animals, oops, no, let's do that. If you just type in animals, you'll see that although we have chosen dog from the list, we haven't removed dog from the list. So it's still there. We could effectively pick dog again if we did choice. Let's find out what the choice is. We could, if we do it enough time, you'll see, oh, just my luck. Twice. There you go. So it could pick the same animal twice, uh, which is fine. That You might want your program to do that. But sometimes we want to pick an item from the list and then um, and then remove it from the list. How do we do that? Well, that's a little bit more complicated. What have we got to do? Well, first of all, we have to get an index, a random index. So here, this list has got one, two, three, four items. So uh, it's got a length of 4, but the index of the items start at 0. So 0, 1, 2, and 3. So what we do now is we do the trick of go and get a random dot rand integer. But this time we start at 0, anywhere from 0 to the length of the list. So in this case it's animals minus 1. And the reason it's minus 1 is because here, the length of the animals list is 4, which means that if you were to use just length of animals uh, from 0 to the length of animals, it could pick 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. And of course, item 4 doesn't exist in this list because we've already got item 0, 1, 2 or 3. So your program wouldn't fail when you coded it. It wouldn't be a syntax error. But when you ran it, there would be a 1 in 4 chance or 1 in 5 chance. Yeah, 1 in 5 chance that you would get an error, a, um, a runtime error that would say index out of range. So that avoids that. So you get an index, which is okay, just like that. And then you just do animals.pop and then the index. And if you want to choose that animal, for instance, let's do removed. So you want to here, what's going to happen is it's going to run this line of code, which gets a random number to generate 0, 1, 2, 3. Then it's going to pop that item from the list and it's going to save it as removed. So now if we press enter, removed is dog and the original list, which is animals, there it is, is now missing a dog. And there's only three items left in that list. So you can do it like those two lines of code there. You could actually do it if you wanted. You could do it in uh, in, in one line of code. 
if you really want to do so you could do remove equals um, animals dot pop brackets random and then put all of this code there inside of the uh, inside of the pop so it would look random dot random bracket zero bracket there uh, comma close close you could do that if you wanted that would also work um, which is but I quite like doing it on two lines sometimes I think it looks a little bit more uh, a little bit easier to read rather than the two the single line choice uh, which would work just as well um, there you go now removed is cat and animals there's only two items left um, so it's entirely up to you you could do either way I would use I personally use this one because it's a little bit more readable for, for me so let's just make uh, le repopulate that list there you go so animals is now back to four items and finally what I'll show you is how to shuffle lists uh, lists so lists in Python as you know are mutable which means that we can change lists as, as you can see by removing them uh, and one of the things that we can do to a list is we can shuffle it so how do we do that well again nice and easy this time you do random dot shuffle and then the name of the list so animals there you go and here it's gone to the animals list and it's shuffled the list in place so now there you go the list is shuffled which is great if you want to say shuffle a pack of cards or um, shuffle a, some choices for displaying them those kind of things so um, but there you go so that's how you use the Python random module if you like the tutorials make sure you subscribe and uh, thank you very much oh and like the video as well if you do like it <laughs> thank you very much